Hey everyone, sorry it's been about two weeks since I've been on done a video. I have been very busy with doing other stuff, like lots of other stuff. So figured I'd take a few minutes this evening and do a video and we are going to do some Y'all, I swear, y'all gonna laugh at me. I call them sneaker doodles, but they're not sneaker doodles. It's not something that we put on our feet. I get that. Sneaker doodles. Cookies. So we will need flour. Self rising flour or regular flour, it doesn't matter. Butter, softened, please. You need to do it real quick. Throw it in the microwave about 30 seconds. It's good. Sugar, cream of tartar, baking soda, vanilla, and two eggs. And for our cinnamon mixture, we will need uh, some cinnamon and some sugar in a small separate bowl. But we'll get to that in a minute. So, what we're going to do, we're going to start off with our butter and our sugar. So you want a cup of butter, softened, um, put it in your mixer bowl. If you don't have a mixer bowl, a hand mixer works just as good. So two sticks of butter equals to one cup or one cup of margarine. And then your sugar, which is one and a half cups of sugar. You're gonna put that. You want to mix it for about four to five minutes until it gets good and fluffy. On low, you don't have to do it at high speed. And while you started this, if you want to, you can go ahead and turn your oven on to 350. So it'll be good and preheated. You can also get your, um, your baking pan ready, your cookie sheet ready. I put parchment paper on mine. If you don't want to use parchment paper, you can just use regular like butter spray. Or it's just as fine. All right, after that's done. Scrape all the stuff off your attachment. This time we're going to add our eggs. We need two eggs. And your vanilla, you need two teaspoons of vanilla. I always put a little extra, it's not going to hurt it. And turn it back on for about two to three minutes. Turn your mixer down to about a two. And you can add your baking soda, which is a half a teaspoon and a teaspoon of salt. I mix my baking soda, my salt, my little cup right here. Just go ahead and add that. And your cream of tartar, which is one and a half teaspoons. And your flour. Just add the flour slowly so it doesn't go everywhere.
while that's mixing up, we're going to get us a small bowl and we're going to add one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon and a quarter cup of sugar. We're going to stir that up. This is what we're going to roll our cookie dough in in here just a second. Turn your mixer off. Scrape everything off your attachment. I'm going to get all the stuff off the attachment, or as much as you can anyway. Move it out of the way. So some of the recipes say refrigerate your dough for at least 20 to 30 minutes. The only reason why they say that to make it a little bit easier to handle to make it easier to roll it up in a ball. I personally don't do that. Put it in the refrigerator. Um, I just don't. You can if you want to. If you decide to, put it in a bowl, put saran wrap over the top of it, and put it in the refrigerator for about 20 or 30 minutes. It's totally up to you. Like I said, I don't. What you want to do is just all you want to do is just take it and roll it up in a little ball. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but it's just a little ball. And you take it. You roll it around and put it on your baking pan over here. Mash it down just a little bit. Not much, but just a little bit. Do that for the rest of them. So, I actually got tired of rolling with my bare hands, so I come up with a better idea. You know, this little cookie scoop. This is a one and a half tablespoon cookie scoop. It works wonders. You just dip it and drop it. They're going to be some big cookies, though. That's okay. And once we get them all done... I said, like I said earlier, I need to preheat your oven to 350. And then um, once you get them all rolled out or what your baking pan will hold, put them in the oven for 9 to 11 minutes. Or until they're really good brown. You don't want to overcook them. You don't want them really crunchy, crunchy.
like I said, at 350 for nine to 11 minutes. And this is the finished product, the sneaker. Sneakers do it on. So here it is. That's what it's supposed to look like. Or you can do yours a little bit browner. It doesn't matter. However you want to do it, just make sure they're not too much lighter brown than that. Or they ain't going to taste worth the dookie. So let's try it. That's oh, pretty good. All right, y'all. I enjoyed it. Appreciate y'all watching this short film with us. And I hope to see y'all one day next week. Y'all have a good evening. Toodles.